Hey everybody, Glenn here, and as I continue with the February subscription boxes, I thought I would go over a box that's new, at least new to me, and that is the Ferrara Market Box. You can see the little logo right there. Uh, the Ferrara Market Box, uh, the Ferrara Market, first of all, is a website. They deal in all sorts of collectibles. They have a, just a ton of stuff, including a mystery box. Um, I've known about them for a while, but I just haven't pulled the trigger on getting it until now. Uh, I've been encouraged by quite a few uh, of you viewers to check it out, so we did that for February. Apparently, the box has changed a little bit. According to their website, it's a little bit cheaper than it used to be, and it's a little bit smaller. So, so it's a 1999 box. I guess you could figure closer to 30. Um, when you throw shipping in there, but uh, the base price is $19.99. A couple of features from this box, at least according to their website, is one in ten boxes will have a chase of some sort. They put a lot of pops in these boxes, which is exciting for me. Um, one in ten will have a chase. Um, there's also um, chances at exclusives, uh, uh, rarities, things like that. Um, and this box is a true mystery box. Yes, they have a theme, and this, this month's theme was television. They have a theme, but it's a mystery within that theme. So you could get figures from all sorts of different lines, from Funko Pops to um, other types of vinyls, from, uh, you know, you could get the, the die-cast uh, die cast little uh, figures, you can get all sorts of different ones. They list them. They say you get this and this and this and that and this. So uh, boxes are different. So that's cool. I like that mystery. If they can keep that mystery going, that's going to be a big plus for me because you don't find mystery boxes much anymore. And it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's mystery boxes and the fact that it has a theme. So um, I'm excited to see what we've got. So I opened everything already on Twitch. As you guys know, I do these unboxings live on Twitch. I usually do them in bunches, so I'll do I'll spend like an hour and a half opening four different boxes, um, and then I bring them to you on YouTube to review. So let's check out the items. Um, we've got two pops this time around. Uh, Hopper from Stranger Things, so that fits the theme here pretty well. And there he is. There's Hopper. This is number 512. This is from the second series, or second, um, yeah, second series of the series. You can see the other ones on the back there. This is Hopper with his uh, coffee cup. So check that out. I've got quite a few of these Stranger Things pops. I didn't have this one, which is cool. So there he is. Pretty cool looking pop. I like that he has the donut and the coffee. So pretty typical there. That looks cool. So cool looking pop. Kind of see the back there. And that is the pop we got. This pop is a $10 pop, according to a pop price guide. So it's running 10 bucks right now, which is pretty good for a standard common pop figure. So $10 for that hopper pop. The other pop we got was the aforementioned exclusive that could end up in the box. Um, it is the Yellow Power Ranger. This is a GameStop exclusive because this is the metallic version of the pop. Um, it came in a pop protector, so that's pretty cool. I like that touch, especially if they're going to do a sticker pop. Now, ironically, this pop is also a $10 pop on Pop Price Guide. So, it, yeah, it's stickered. It's an exclusive. It's metallic, but it's not really all that valuable. Um, as far as exclusive pops go. But kind of cool. We still got a sticker pop. And uh, so $10 for that one as well. All right. We've got a wearable. And that is a pair of Spock socks. And normally I'd kind of cringe, and I think I actually did when I first pulled these out of the box. Because usually when you get socks in a subscription box, um... They are like super thin. They're more like hosiery, right? You can see through them. They wear out. They're going to wear out really fast. These, however, are kind of legit socks. Um, you know, they're obviously they're tube socks. They're huge, but they're not um, poor quality or they're not thin. You know, you look right there. You can't see my hand through it like you could normally some other socks. Um, 
they're, it's licensed. You see a CBS there, right there. Um, you know, they've even got the the little things at the heel and at the toe. Um, I wouldn't call them reinforced, but they're definitely a good quality pair of socks. Usually these, you know, geeky socks aren't that great. Um, and as such, on eBay, these are going for $14 right now. So pretty good there. So $14 for those socks. And they're really good quality socks. So Spock socks. Next, we've got another figure. This is from Action Vinyls. And this is from the Dragon series. I think it's on Netflix, I want to say. But based on How to Train Your Dragon, right? This is DreamWorks Dragons. And this is Fish Legs. So a little vinyl. Um, I'm not going to take them out of the package, but you kind of see that um, different vinyls have different rarities. It's weird to have a rarity listing on a non-blind box or bag um, because is it really a... a you, the only time the rarity would come into play is if you bought a queso, right? So if you're buying them individually, doesn't there's not much point to put the rarity on them because you just pick the one that you want. So anyway, this one is a 3 of 12, whatever that means. So if I got a case of 12, three of them would be this fish legs. There's another one that's flocked, which is a one of 14, well, one of 24. So out of two cases, you'd get, you'd get one. Um, so they've got different ones, and there's a, there's a gold one as well, uh, which is even the rarest one. All right, so uh, this one is actually not bad either. It's also a $10 figure. So this one is going for $10 on eBay. So we got three $10 figures um, in our $30 box. Now we've got one more figure to go over, and that was a Mystery Mini. And obviously I already opened it. And it was from the Walking Dead series of Mystery Minis, but it was the Walking Dead um, In Memoriam series. So <coughs> all the characters that are dead. Um, and I got Dale. So they have this weird little ghost uh, tinge to them. You can kind of see that. They're not... They're not walkers, but they're dead, right? So you can see that they're kind of ghostly and pale and such like that. So I got the Dale, and as far as I can remember, Dale was 1 in 12 and uh, $5 Mystery Mini. But there are some rarities there, too. So this, um, you know, getting a Mystery Mini like that, that where everything is different, uh, different um, uh, uh, rarities also means you have different values, right? So this could va could the value of this box could go up if you got one of, if you just happened to be lucky and got one of the really rare uh, ones. I didn't. I got Dale one of twelve, which is fine. Um, but I like the set. I didn't even know this set was out. So I drop it everywhere. This Walking Dead in Memoriam set. I didn't even know it existed. So and ten dollars for that. Okay. We roll on. We've got even more stuff. This is a very cool item. This is a flash keychain, and you see it lights up. This is from BioWorld, which is a huge supplier. In fact, uh, BioWorld has their own section on the Ferrara Market website. All they do is sell the BioWorld stuff, but they make a lot of wearables, a lot of keychains, a lot of socks, hats, clothing, stuff like that. But this is a particularly cool one because it lights up. And it's a cool light-up kind of uh, rubbery keychain with a little LED in it as well. So that's kind of cool, rather than your just your typical keychain. Oh, and that one, this is actually 13 bucks on eBay. So, um, and it's the only one I could find. So one listing, $13 is the, is the price there. And lastly, we've got some throwing items, but they're cool throwing items because they are all basically a set of four... Um, Stranger Things buttons. So there's 11. Uh, Friends Don't Lie. There's What's-His-Face, I forget his name. And then the boys on the bike. On the bikes. So four buttons there. I just threw a $3 value on those. Those are typically a set of four. But a set of four will go for of those buttons. Not a whole lot, but, you know. Again, those are kind of thrown items. So... Really, guys, we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. If you count the four buttons as one item, seven items in a twenty-dollar box. When does that happen? It doesn't. Um, so our total value here is sixty-five bucks 
on a, let's call it $30 with shipping. Pretty darn good. Over double the, the value and very mysterious, right? Very variant oriented, which I love. Could have gotten anything in here, right? So the selections are good, but I could, you know, I ordered this box. If I'm somebody else ordering this box, I could, would have gotten something totally different. So very happy with that. Um, so good value there. Let's talk about scores. Um, the value, obviously, an A. Fun factor, I gave an A. The socks definitely have that future use because they're decent. Uh, the keychain is cool, too. You know, there's there's some fun factor going on there for sure. Um, the theme, I gave the theme a B. It's, um, it's television, yeah, but it is a little bit scattered, um, especially when you talk about... Yes, technically Flash is on TV, but this doesn't really scream TV Flash to me. This is just generic DC Comics Flash. So, you know, again, it's fine. You know, the the, the theme works. Um, it's just a little bit, a little bit scattered. Um, curation, I gave an A. I mean, seven plus items. Um, variants, variant opportunities all over the place. I love the, what they picked out. They did a great job. Um... So good job with curation. Execution, I also gave an A. The socks, high quality socks, which is awesome. The keychain, I loved. I love the, again, the mystery part of it. Um, I love the fact that I got a pop protector. You know, that's cool. Um, so, you know, they, they did a good job putting this, putting this box together for sure. Overall, I gave it an A. Um, I'm going to be sticking with Ferrar Market for a while. Um, I like that. I like Having a theme, but not knowing what I'm going to get and being surprised and being uh, happily surprised with what I get. So um, that's it for, for our market. What did you think of this box? you think I should keep getting it? Um, it seems to be one of the ones that's kind of standing out to me anyway this month uh, amongst the box I got. I got quite a few different boxes this month. So um, this is one I'm definitely sticking with for the time being. And uh, as always, check out my social media off to the side. Look me up on Twitch where you're gonna where you'll be able to see this box unboxed live, um, and once you sign up and f click that follow button on my page on my channel, you'll automatically get notified when I'm going live, so you'll be able to catch that. Um, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.